might have a subwoofer in your car or maybe home like I did. I mean, not an active one, a passive one that have external amplifier outside of the enclosure itself. But mm, there are lots of amplifiers that claim to be running at 12,000 watts out of the small foam factor that only have two 15 amp fuses. I mean, what? Being real. So this video is not about that kind of amplifier that have, you know, low power consumption with a whopping power output. But now I'm going to show you how to actually measure how many watts is your subwoofer driving at or running at the maximum and average of those. Well, we will only need two simple tools. The first one is a digital multimeter. Is it, is it showing the camera? Okay, it is. Digital multimeter. Most people have these things. And a banana plug with small cables. Not necessary. You can also use the test leads instead of this. But I just prefer to use these things instead of the test leads for higher current. Because if you do have extremely high power subwoofer, you might need to bypass the fuse inside of the multimeter itself. I mean, you're gonna blow this little test lead if you just put 40 amps out of these little cables, even though it's kept 4 rating on this cable. So, let's go. So, actually I have something that I forgot to mention earlier. Screwdriver is the most important tool. Everybody has these screwdrivers. I mean, it depends on your amps. It happened to be my amplifier have those annoying. What do you? Oh, what, uh, what kind of key is this? Um, what? I keep forgetting those things. I keep forgetting name of things or tools. Basically, it's just screwdriver. It all depends on your amplifier, what it use. So, most amplifiers use Phillips head screwdriver. So, you can just use Phillips head if you have, if you happen to have an amplifier with a Phillips head screw on it. So let's find what, what, where is it? Is it? I guess this one. I guess. Nope, not this one. Smaller one. Maybe this one's a bit bigger. Yep, here it is. And take the handle out of the box. So this is my Oh oops oops, it's heavy. Oh so this is my subwoofer amplifier. Oops, let me focus it. All in manual focus, so here's my amplifier. Well, 2000D. Let's put it on. Oh my god. So let's put this on the screwdriver handle. So what we're gonna do first is measure the maximum voltage it was driving at. Oh by the way, this the first step is to measure the maximum power when you play music on it. So let's first just open. There are four terminals here, but actually they are connected to here and here. And this one is here and here. They are connected together. So yeah. So we want to take our cable with banana plug or simply test lead will also work. Oh my. It's on. I might remove the music due to copyright because, you know, it's annoying but the song with loud bass is mostly copyrighted so I'll have to remove the audio for it and make the video time lapse we can basically connect it if you don't have 4 terminal like my amps did have 
You can just combine it with these two cables that are connected to the subwoofer. So let's take the multimeter, remove the original test leads. We can get it to stand up here. Connect them to the ground and the vault. We can use this one later on. Set it to volts AC. You can see here volts AC. And we're gonna put it to the min max. Set it to max. I will keep measuring the voltage if it ever goes up. Like when you're at 15, when it jumps to 20, it will stay at 20 volts. So, very handy features. I put it to time lapse. Oh, by the way, before we start the time lapse, I just want to show you the data sheet for this owner's manual. Oh, this. It claims to be on the end. Link about, oh, this one. This is the rating if you use two amplifier. No, we are not going to use this. We can measure 1 ohm mono, 1800 watts. Wow. And the RMS might, will be like half of it. So the RMS might be about 900 watts. And for 2 ohms, the RMS. What? How did how did they manage to get thirteen hundred watts at two ohms out of this? It was supposed to be half of this, isn't it? Just tell me if I'm wrong, because I'm not quite sure. But as as far as I know, it was supposed to be if it it was eighteen hundred peak. At one ohm, it was supposed to be 1900 peak at two ohms, and for 450 watts at four ohms. And now, just tell me if I'm wrong, or this is simply lying. I'm quite sure, but as far as I know, it is lying. Okay, let's get started. Oops. I accidentally stopped the recording. Okay, there we have the maximum reading is of 29.22 volts AC. The absolute maximum voltage the subwoofer would drive on at. So now let's change this. So you might want to take a photo of this with a phone or just write it down so you don't forget about the result. So we now we're gonna unplug this and just remember it, 29.82. We're gonna move it to amps and just plug it here. Move this one from here to here. So it will measure the current. But before we start the next thing, oh, I didn't rec it's not recorded. Oh no. Oh no, it's not recorded. Just make sure that we have to move this red one from here to here. And before we start, don't forget to move the cable. I'm not sure what I have changed. It looks like this before. 
But now what we are gonna change it to unplug both of this disconnect it both of them and just also disconnect one of this your one of your speaker cable since this one on current measurement it will be directly connected that's why it's, it says lead in here to make sure it didn't blow the whole damn thing because if you does connect the current mode into the mains you'll have a bad day of course just leave this like this and this one connect it here we're gonna do the same thing set the range to manual 10 set it to maximum oh come on I gotta redo everything so let's move this so it will reset let's change set the range it was 6 right now set it to manual 10 set to min max set it to maximum and do the same start the song and I will do the time lapse again of course with remove audio because I don't want to copyright strike Okay, there we have it. 6.25 amps. You can see it clearly here. There it is, 6.25 amps. So, if you want to measure the average power it was driving at just do the same thing as I did before just don't set it to max there's a minimum and average there's an average on voltage and amps and you can multiply those and get the result you can see it begin to drop because there's no more power going into it just the same as there's nothing in there see it will, keep, it will begin to drop because average was measured by seconds the time and those, you know. So after get those numbers, oh, I almost forgot to mention that there's a moment when where you see me in the time lapse that I reset the maximum. It was because I accidentally set something in the wrong way, so it will it jump up to 8.25 amps. Wait. Is it 8.25 or 8.75? I'm not quite sure. I have to recheck the video. But it was actually in the wrong setting, so I go ahead and reset it and reset the readings and good to go. So if we check from the video, it's about 6.25 if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna take it and remove my camera. Hold on. Okay, let's zoom out. Here's my setup. Okay, let's get the calculator. So it was 29.22. 29.22. Is it blur? Okay, got it. Multiplied by 6.25 equal 182. Okay, at least it gets a bit more than 
the ratings it have amazing isn't it 182 at maximum absolute maximum power not so bad the sub itself was rated at 125 RMS and peak at 350 watts so yeah, not so bad after all do the same with the average result and you will get the average power it was running at so that's it for this video like it if you like it just dislike it if you hate it for some reason and as always don't forget to subscribe see ya